go start your mama a little bit. I got in the mail yesterday my vials and my postmarked envelopes so I can take our milk pregnancy test today and send it in. Exciting. Home city. <laughs> <laughs> Luna was milling this morning. Yeah. Should she be coming into heat soon? Yeah. This is a bit of a mess, you two. Watch out, Lily. HIA representative send me two envelopes for two types of testing, either the blood test or the milk pregnancy test. They're both, he said, 98% accurate. The only difference is the blood test, you take blood. They included instructions to do a, a tail blood draw. And the milk one, which all you have to do is put the milk in the vial. For Ladybug, I'm gonna do the milk test. So it's stress, less stressful on both of us. And for Luna, I think I'll do the blood test because it'd be a good way for me to learn with her because she's little. We won't be able to do a milk test with Luna. That's right, and we won't be able to do a milk test with Luna. So that's my only option. You're so smart. <laughs> One of the envelopes they sent, one of the two, this is the one with the milk pregnancy test tubes in it. It's ready to go, just drop it in the mailbox, first class mail, and it goes to Mannheim, PA. It just has the one cow to do, so let's see if I can... There are no instructions with these tubes. <laughs> Luna does not make it easy. That's got a little red thingy in there, and I think that's probably the preservative. Hi, lady. It gave me a little bit of a shock because it <laughs> made the milk turn pink, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> you little. She's not loud on those ones. All right, so there it is. Pregnancy test sample. Could you tie Luna back up, please? Huh? Milk
use high maintenance. Some are going to be. Some Dexter's are going to be nice producing cows. Yeah. They do pig's feet sometimes. People will think that they do goats, they do sheep, they do pigs. They do cows. These were the two envelopes I got, both stamped, ready to go, from the DHIA, the Dairy Herd Improvement Association, in Lancaster, which is nice because it's really close to us. I'll give you the little instructions. Three easy steps, which is good. Um, lady bag. I would like them with all the ways. <laughs> I'm gonna do email and I'm gonna do phone. Price for the milk pregnancy sample is three dollars, and then for shipping, because we're using their shipping labels there will be an additional shipping cost of $2.50. So this will cost me $5.50 to get this pregnancy test done. So something got messed up where I asked it to be shipped and it wasn't, and then I reminded the representative in this area to ship it, though it took three days over a weekend. So it's pretty fast once you request it. These are the milk test pregnancy tubes, milk test tubes. They've got the little preservative in there. So I'll hang on to those because we'll be doing this again. A few, well, a year or so. This sample's ready to go. Now the nice thing is you can also uh, do a mastitis panel. That's all in the back. Check which ones you want tested for. But you know, she doesn't have mastitis right now so we're not looking for any of those. She would show signs of mastitis, we could send it in, and then we could know which strain we were dealing with, so we could treat it as effectively as possible, not mess around with stuff that wouldn't work for that strain. All right. What the milk and the blood tests do is they look for a certain protein that the cow only produces while she's pregnant. They're both 98% accurate. They do work best, though, within a certain time point. And we're just fitting into that, it's like 21 to 40 days or something. I'm gonna run this to the post office in a little bit because our mail here doesn't go until later in the evening and I want this to get out and go. And the blood pregnancy testing, same little fill out form. They include in this 20 gauge, inch and a half needle and the vacuum tubes. Now, I have heard from some that these are difficult to use. We'll find out when we do Luna, though, I guess. Also, instructions, which is very considerate. Thank you, DHIA. Those of you who have never taken a, a blood sample from your cows. Yeah, it looks easy. Prepare bleeding supplies. So we'll get that sent out today. We'll have the results in a two days, hopefully one. And then we'll know, finally, the drama. The suspense will be over and we'll all finally know. So stay tuned. All right, coffee time. If you're dying to know whether Ladybug is pregnant, be sure to sign up to our email list. Click here to do that. And as soon as we make the video announcing the test results, we will email that video to you directly to your inbox so you know just about as soon as we do.